Holla, what's up guys? Yo, you can tell I'm dressed in my sweatpants and my hoodie. So tired, I'm so exhausted. I honestly, part of me didn't even want to record this today, but I'm on the road right now. I just stopped at a random hotel to record this and upload it to you guys. I figured a couple minutes. So let's just catch up here. It's episode five right now. This episode is gonna be about persistence. How persistent are you? So check it out. I started this out, I told you guys, this is gonna be a documentary about my clinical years. And it will be. The only thing is I haven't started it yet. I was in another school, and I was about to start it, but I transferred. And because I transferred, they're gonna set me back another six weeks. But yo, whatever, I've been set back two years, three years, four years, five years, I've been set back a lot. But you know what, I'm staying persistent. So the point is, these six weeks mean nothing in terms of me trying to get to my goal. So what am I gonna do with these six weeks until I get into the clinical years? And when I start the clinical, which is like six, seven weeks from now, that's gonna be the beginning of season two. But what I think is more important than jumping into that right now is to give you guys some words of maybe advice, inspiration, motivation, whatever it is to get to this point. And this is not just about medicine, it's not just about healthcare, this is about life in general. All right, so check it out, right? I'm going through what I would say are some hard times. My car doesn't work, I'm working on fixing it. I've repaired it so many times. And people have told me, just get rid of that car. Why don't you just get a new car? And you know what, eventually I will. But the reason I don't is because, man, I love this car, it's my first love. I'm just kidding, but the thing about it is that it breaks down, right? It's broken down to the point of people saying this thing's not gonna work again. And I'm no mechanic. I mean, maybe I am. I just taught myself a few things here and there. And all of a sudden I'm fixing, you know, cars and engines. And to the point that somebody even watched a video and he said that he fixed his plane engine off of my car video. You know what? It's just that passion, that persistence that took me to that point. And why, why am I telling you this? How does this relate to life? How does this relate to medicine? Let's say I get a patient, right? This patient is so difficult to figure out. The cardiologist can't figure it out. Pulmonary, internal, all those guys, they're coming together, they can't figure it out. So what's gonna happen? Let the patient die? Get a newer patient who's easier? Oh, diabetes. Oh, take insulin. That's not the point, right? You guys watch episodes like House and all these things because you admire those people. But when it comes to us being able to do it, it's hard. We wish it was easier. So the thing is, don't wish that it was easier. Wish that you were better at it. And how do you get better at it? You have to stay persistent. Keep working at it. When it gets hard, step back. Think about it. Make a plan. Execute that plan. It doesn't work. Repeat that again. So. I'm gonna cut this short because I got a lot of things to do to prepare and to get onto the road. But the point is this, guys. Wherever you wanna be in life, envision it, see it, believe it, sense it as if it actually really is happening. And then stay persistent because you're not gonna get roadblocks. You're just gonna get obstacles. You're gonna get detours. That's all you're gonna get. But you might look at that detour as a block. It's all in your mind. As long as you're persistent, whatever it is, a physical goal, a mental goal, a financial goal, a relationship goal, whatever it is, you can achieve it. Yo, stay true, never give up. Holla.